Hello from Slidered and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? In this video, I'm going to talk about the relative layout in Android in detail. In my previous videos, I've been talking about the linear layout first in the XML, then in the Java code, and then I also showed you how to make a calculator's user interface using a linear layout. And in this vid, starting on and going on for the next couple of vids, I'm going to talk about the relative layout. Now the relative layout has a lot of options and as such, it is not going to be completed in one video. And also, as an example, we are going to see how to build a Facebook app user interface using relative layout. So first, as a beginner, you have the question, what is a relative layout? It's pretty simple. If you see this diagram over here, the skin colored rectangle which you see is actually the relative layout. And I have a text view and I have a button. Now, if you guys remember the linear layout, it allows you to place stuff either horizontally or vertically. But the relative layout allows two things. It either allows you to place your view with respect to itself, that is with respect to the relative layout or the parent which is this called, or it allows you to place the view with respect to some other view which has been placed already on the screen. Now if you don't understand much of what I'm saying right now, don't worry, we are going to explore the options of the relative layout in detail in the next maybe 3-4 videos. So there are some things that you guys should remember. First of all, layout weight and layout gravity do not exist in a relative layout. but if a relative layout is not the root, that is, you have a linear layout as the root and the relative layout is inside that linear layout, then it may have a layout weight. This is very important. Remember that you don't need a layout gravity in this because you're given full customization of where you want to place your view on the screen, right? So let me go ahead and show you the different places where you have your relative layout. So first, what I have is I have a table over here. I'm going to write a rule on the left and I have some XML attributes that take true or false values. And on the right side, I have the same Java values. For example, when you make the same structure in your Java code, then what are the constants that you should be referring to? And that is what this third column covers. So the rule is this, place the view inside the center of the relative layout. This is the first rule. So let's see how this can be done. This can be done in three ways. There is three attributes for this. You have your layout center in parent, you have Android layout center horizontal, and you have your layout center vertical. Now what each of these value takes as values is true or false. For example, you say Android layout center in parent equals to true or equals false. But of course, you don't need to say false. So you can just keep true as it is, right? Same way, you have some Java constants for them. Now, these constants are inside your relative layout class as static fields. Now, let me actually go ahead and show you how these things look like when you apply to them to say a button or a text view, what happens? So here, what you see is there is this text view, which is which says, hi, hey, what's up? And if you see over here, I have Android layout center horizontal equals to true. Now, as the name suggests, horizontally place it in the center. That's what this attribute does. Then the same way you have the same text view. But when you say layout center vertical equals to true, it's going to place it in the center vertically, right? But what if you want both center horizontal and center vertical for that? There is this third attribute which says layout center in parent equals to true. Now, if you guys remember, notice something. As per the definition of relative layout, just the way I discussed previously in this in this same video where I told you that relative layout allows you to position views with respect to the parent or with respect to some other view. Here, we are positioning stuff with respect to the parent, right? When we say center, that means we are talking about the center of the parent, center horizontal, center vertical or center, right? So this is one of the ways where your controls are placed. Now in the next video, I'm going to dive into more placement options in your relative layout. So if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next bit. Have a nice day.